for those of you who are um, new to uh, the Just For Now or new to this format, Mahatma is Violet's son. And uh, I'm so glad that you're here. Any check-ins? Love to hear from you. Uh, we are doing well. And Martha's not here, but our kitty Shana is here. This was Violet's kitty and uh, our inheritance. She's very sweet. And um, we're doing well. We talked to my sister. My sister, Sarah, Violet's daughter's birthday was yesterday. And uh, <clears throat> at her request, we had scattered most of Violet's ashes in the Pacific Ocean. And Sarah took some of them home to Boston. And yesterday, she, on her birthday, she and her son, Violet's grandson, Michael, scattered the rest uh, at the place in Cambridge where she grew up on Trowbridge Street. So that was very sweet. Yeah, life is good. My wife and I celebrated our 49th anniversary uh, a couple of days ago. Wow. Near Solvang out in the country, hiking in, in the Green Hills. So it's all good. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Very happy anniversary. I'm glad you got to celebrate. How about your great nephew? Your great nephew. Oh yeah, and my 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 uh, Violet had one great grandchild, my son's daughter, who is three and a half now, and she <laughs> got to visit with her a number of times. And her uh, she will not meet him in this uh, incarnation, but her my sister just my sister's son just. His wife just had a baby. His name is Gregory. He's three weeks old now. Violet's second great grandchild. Oh, such so nice to hear some great news. I, I saw on Facebook and he looks absolutely perfect, which is how yeah. Sarah described him. Yeah. So glad. Growing fast. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Very good. Thank you for your check-in. Thanks for being here. For this is the 26th call, and I don't, I don't have a written agenda somehow. I realize I didn't do it, but I'm going to tell you what we're doing. Um, and that is that we had the check-in with Mahatma. Um, we're going to do a poll. We are going to hear from Ebert in Peru. Um, <clears throat> And someone who I thought that Michelle was going to translate uh, for him, but Liz, maybe you can, or um, Cassiana, you can, because we're so happy that you're here and get to see you. And I never want language to be a barrier um, to presenting here. So, um, and you know, what I've learned that isn't just for now, is anything you plan, just plan for it not necessarily to work out. So my flexible thinking is um, just on, it's, it's gotten just amazing during this time. <laughs> and then maybe you'll see me all, um, if I showed a picture of me in my bed with hot chocolate <laughs> after this. Anyway, we're gonna hear from Ebert. Um, <clears throat> We are going to hear from Kelly Priest about autism. Um, and I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, if anyone here is from Los Angeles um, or, or pretty much anywhere, Kelly is just such an expert that so many of us have um, used for consultation with clients uh, with miraculous results, really, as far as our understanding um, how to uh, work and you're going to uh, share some things that are unique to possibly how autistic um, people or children and teens would be processing news like we have with a war. So um, that's going to be very timely and helpful, I know. Um, and then we have Natalia here from Ukraine. Are you in Kiev now? Uh, not yet, but oh, I, not yet. I'm, I think in of my uh, Kiev, I want to back uh, and maybe in a couple of weeks, uh, we do it with my family. 
That'll be wonderful. That would be wonderful. I'm so glad you're here. So we'll have you check in afterwards. And then we're going to, um, those of you that are here that are um, <clears throat> working with refugees, have any experience, it'll be a time to share any experience. And then we're gonna do something together using one of the apps, the Santra app. So, um, and Catherine, you're here and you're going to share a song with us about peace. We'll have you do that in the second part. Yeah, a couple, a couple of wee things, yeah. Okay. And I have some so, notes from the other day. Oh, wonderful. Okay, terrific. So we have, we have, we have a lot of wonderful things. So let's start with a poll, Seema, and then Seema's going to do, we, I keep adding things. Let's add, let's start with the poll. Seema's here to start something with us, just a movement exercise. Here, here we go. I didn't rename the poll. I'm just seeing it. This is number 26. I think there's more questions than usual. So it just might take a couple extra minutes. There are more questions. There are more questions. I know that last weekend, I think that almost every VSOFT board member was presenting and in a different country. So it was pretty amazing. And then we're very well represented. Thank you, Florence, for being here from Africa. I, I know it's you. Oh, share results, sorry. I'm the only one looking. Okay, here we go. I'll scroll down. So some of you are new to the call. Many of you have been here more than 11 times. <clears throat> Chris, I know you have. This is number 11, right? Uh, number 10. Number 10. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah. So... 60% of you, 21, is living with very few restrictions regarding COVID, still very much an issue. Some of you working with autistic children and lots of you want to learn more, which we're gonna get to do, which is great. Okay, fantastic. Great. Okay, so um, Sima, I think we have time just for a few, few minutes, but it would be great to get started with something that you do for us. If you could do a shorter one. Yeah, very, very quick. Hi, everyone. Good evening. So just keep your, um, you, if you like stand, if you want to sit and do it also, it's fine. So just uh, keep your legs shoulder width apart, soft. And just take a deep breath and widen your shoulders, send them back, open your chest. Take a deep breath and just lift your thigh up, your knees up and dust your thigh. Your right hand on your right thigh and your left hand on your left thigh. And then the opposite, your right hand on your left and your left hand on your right. Do it with a little bit of strength, maybe double dust off and then dust your hands off. And another quick one where with your four, the tips of your fingers, pull everything that's, notice what's in your mind and remove what you don't want. Bring it to your temple and then flick it away. Another one time. Flick it away. And then we'll just do a little shake and we'll start with your legs. Come up, your hips, rest of your body. And just add a sound to it if you like. Oh, do it fast and then slow down. And stop. And just notice your body for the moment. Notice your breath. Notice what's on your mind.
That was wonderful. Thank you so much. That was that was fantastic. So appreciate it. Ha. Ah. Um, okay. <laughs> so um, what what we're going to do um, next is Peter, you wanted to check in about the um, trainings. Yeah, thank you. Um, I know there are others who were also busy this past week, and I just had this stunning example of how the Oaklander approach crosses boundaries and political, social, linguistic. So on Monday, planned very far before the war started, I had the opportunity to work with a group of Gestalt therapists in Moscow. And on ironically aggressive energy work. And, um, you know, there obviously there's a lot going on right there, right? Like aggressive energy work, working with folks who are in Russia. And, you know, we did the scribble drawing, we talked about the bear inside, they promised to read it to their leader. Um, but I think the important thing was how important it was for even folks who are in a political situation where their leaders are doing things they don't want them to do and how they were able to express aggressive anger, frustration through this work in this moment um, via the Oaklander model. So it was just a, an amazing moment and I'm really thankful we get to hear from our friends in Bulgaria, I mean, excuse me, in Ukraine, and um, just wanted to share that moment. Thank you. Can I quickly add to that? Um, yes. I, I had a very similar experience last uh, Friday. Uh, I was asked to speak at, um, at the school where my children went uh, at the parent-teacher meeting, and um, it was a huge audience, and um, it wasn't so interactive, but I, I got them to actually express aggressive energy and I told them about it and uh, even in Sri Lanka we're having a similar situation where the uh, government the leaders are uh, letting people down and uh, we have no recourse so um, yeah Peter when I heard you say that it just reminded me of that just wanted to quickly share that thanks Seema there there's a lot happening in this world um, and we have quite a re we have quite a representation right here, um, just to be able to to learn that firsthand. So, um, wow, I'd love to hear how things are going there. Um, what can I uh, say? I'm happy to be with you, and uh, I'm happy to restart my practice this week. And we have a lot of children uh, who mm, uh, uh, who, uh, who now in uh, different countries in Europe uh, and uh, psychologist uh, in uh, Ukraine uh, try to help these uh, children and we work in uh, all, all the days. With uh, my colleague, we, we have channels uh, where these um, clients can find uh, uh, psychologists for free and uh, get the help they need. Mm. Wow! Wow! And um, I, is there? Yeah. Can I just share something quickly with Natalia? By all means, um, Natalia, I'm going to be doing two. Uh, two hour workshops for an organization in Ukraine that's free for all psychologists about working with children. And um, I'm just gonna put the name of the organization in the chat. If you're wanting some information um, from me about that, I'm happy to share that with you so you can share it with your oh, colleagues there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Migis. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, 
can I email you? Uh, yeah, I just put my email there. Uh -huh, it's be, okay. Yeah, it's going to be on uh, April 14th and April 21st at uh, 20 hours, so at 8 p.m. in Ukraine. Uh -huh, thank you, Lynn. Uh, uh, I email you. Uh, okay. Thank Thanks, you. Karen. Thank, thank you, Karen. You. Of course. And I have Lynn's email, Natalia, if for some reason you need it. Um, or anyone else is here. Is there anything? Lynn's actually doing a training for people there. Is there anything else that we can do to support you or your colleagues before you have to turn off, out the lights there? <laughs> Thank you. So Thank many you people who want to support. Yeah. Thank you. We are happy to have uh, a lot of uh, uh, workshops and uh, lectures from um, different countries. Um, it's uh, so uh, touching, touching. And uh, yeah. we try, uh, try to do our best in this situation and help uh, our children and not only children. Uh, their parents uh, need help and uh, uh, sometimes men, men, women, we try and, uh, to do our best. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. And I have to leave. Okay. okay, we understand. We understand sending all our best.